Hello again, everybody. It's Steve here and continuing Screen Porch Saga. And this time I want to talk about um, how to make this a cathedral ceiling and have screen up here in the gable end. And there's really no easy way like you can with these railing panels down here, at least that I know of. Maybe one of the gurus can chime in if they know of a way, but I think you just have to do it with polyline solids. So I thought I'd do a quick video here how I would accomplish that. <clears throat> so the first thing is you got to take the ceiling out of your room. So you open up your room spec here and you unclick flat ceiling over this room. And we look at it. Uh, well, you can't see because the gable end is still there, but it's vaulted now. And then we want to get rid of this gable end wall, but it'll auto rebuild if you don't do something. So you have to go into defaults here, general wall and auto rebuild attic walls take that off now you can delete this attic wall and it'll go away and as you look in there you'll see this cathedral ceiling now one thing you might notice is i got this beam right here and that's because i had changed my framing earlier and i made my ridge four inches wide by 12 inches deep and i did that on both sides and then reframe this wall and I got this beam and that's only because with a cathedral ceiling more than likely you're going to need a beam up here to hold these rafters and a lot of people will put this in typically and then maybe hang a paddle fan off of it but it's up to you anyway uh, that's why it's there so let's get this screen in here and let's figure out how we're going to do that um, one thing you're going to need is some construction lines. So here's a line and I want to center it on this wall and then I want to move it up. So I use copy and paste and hold position. Now I got a line, a reference line there. And also we need a line in the center here. So um, I'll just draw a line right there. I cut it and then go up and go paste and hold position. So now I got a, a line here which is the center of the wall below. And I have a line here, which is the ridge line. And we're going to need those. So you might turn on your reference layers so you can see what's going on. And that blue line represents the railing wall below. So um, what's the first thing? The first thing we need to do is to look at this gable end closely. We have to be inside. So. I try to get as close to the wall as I can, draw an elevation view inside the soffit. And then, as you can see, I'm going to take the line weights off, but there's your soffit and there's this blue line, this blue here is the gable wall back because there is no gable wall at the end, but uh, there's our beam and rafters and anyway. The best thing you can do here is just to go and create a CAD detail from view. And then select everything and put it on a layer that's locked and I always use this audio video layer and because I, I don't use it for much and put it change it to like a gray color and lock it so that you don't have those things to fight while you're trying to draw here so there you go and then make a rectangular polyline here and we'll make it about eight eight inches tall and we want to make it parallel with the roof so we use the parallel over here tool and rotate entire polyline you have to double click it to get that box and then um, we'll just use point to point here and get this into position we want it right here by the we probably want it actually behind the soffit back here then use the three key and break it um, let me see here right on top of this beam Drag this up, drag this one back, and then we probably need a center line here to drag to, so we'll just draw that right off the ridge, and then drag this back down, and uh, drag it vertical, drag it to our center line, and then we can just copy and reflect about. And th those are our two beams. And um, one thing I'm going to do before I do that 
Well, I'll show you. If we use these two here, copy them, go back to our elevation, paste and hold position, and then convert those to polyline solids, and we'll make them four inches thick, and change the color to color bone, like everything else we're doing here. And if we look at it, the perspective view, these beams are actually drawn way back there on that gable end because there is no surface for them to land on here. So you have to go to your plan view, grab them, and then center them on this line we drew. And let's go back to our overhead our overview and you can see you change the vector view so you can see a little better and they are right where we want them. So they're perfect. Now we need to extend these 4 by 4s up and put some screen in here. So back to our CAD detail from view and we're going to draw the screen now. And So I've just drawn the screen and connected it right here and then we can put a break right here at the ridge drag this layer down all the way to here and drag this one all the way down to here and copy that go back to our elevation go paste and hold position convert it to a polyline solid and I'm gonna leave it at about two inches thick for now and just leave it concrete and as you can tell again it drew back on the wall and I left it thick just so I could see it and grab it so control G center it on our line that we drew earlier and then let's just open it again make it an eighth uh, you have to recenter it and then let's look at it in perspective view here use our eyedropper touch on the screen paint it with screen and voila we have screen now you may not want these posts coming up but you got to divide them because this screen really is only four feet wide so back to our um, our view here and let's just draw a post here and we will make it four inches wide and center it on our line we drew earlier right here drag it up put a break in it bring it down bring it down and then let's do two more uh, we'll just draw this up here actually okay let's make it four inches wide drag it down Now we can, oh, we got to drop, drag the bottom up. Now we can use copy and reflect about. And there's that. So we have one, two, three posts. Copy, go back to our elevation view, paste and hold position. While they're still highlighted, you convert them to polyline solid, four inches thick. Uh, we can change the color too while we're here, all three. Just change the color to color bone. And let's take a look. I don't know where they drew. Oh, they drew right on the screen. Uh, they're probably not exactly where we want them, which they aren't. So let's highlight those and center them on our line we drew earlier. And there is your screen porch with the vaulted ceiling. Standard view using polyline solids and technical illustration looks pretty good just like uh, you want it to look so maybe there's an easy way but I don't know so polyline solids it didn't take very long and it looks good um, hope you enjoyed and hope it helped and uh, if you have any questions post them and I'll do my best to answer have a great one guys thank you